Hi guys and welcome back to the Gourmet Grandad Cooking Channel. It's Rog here again and today I'm going to share with you one of my all time favourite recipes. It uses up with leftover chicken if you're lucky enough to have a chicken for a Sunday dinner and it's a wonderful chicken and vegetable pie. Very easy, very tasty. I'll share my recipe with you guys. Please stay and watch it right till the very end. Oh, don't forget, please subscribe. That'd be great. So into a pan on the hob we go with a drop of oil. I'm using vegetable oil but you can use any type of cooking oil that you wish. Followed by our chopped up red onions. I mean they're not chopped up too small, they're sort of manageable if you know what I mean. We give them a stir, get them coated in the cooking oil, let them sweat down for a little bit and then we can go in with the carrots. Do the same there, a little bit of a mix. And then we can move on to the next step. In with about half a litre of stock. If it boils down a bit, just top it up. Then we can follow with the mushrooms. Now we didn't want to fry these because that will shrivel them all up and be pretty much non-existence really. In with some peas, straight out of the freezer. You can see that, still had ice on. Followed by one teaspoon of mixed herbs. One teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and of course, a drop of the old Worcestershire sauce, Liam Perrins. And I always like to put a drop of soy sauce in as well, not too much, just adds to the flavour. Then some seasoning, some black pepper, and a hefty pinch of sea salt. Pop that in too. Then we can go in with this whole grain mustard. One or two teaspoons of this. I've used one. Give this all a mix together, incorporate those delicious flavours. Then on with the lid. Now after a while, I'm going to pop in some brown sauce. This is my secret ingredient. So shh, don't tell anyone. Then we can go in with our chicken. Cut up about to this size. Already cooked. Actually, it was leftovers from our Sunday dinner. Why it's not what not, that's what I say. Stir it around again. Now basically, it's pretty much cooked. So, we've just got to warm it up a bit. And that's it. That's our pie filling made. And I'm going to be using these three little pie dishes here. That's for two people, the bigger one. And those smaller ones, one each. There's four of us eating tonight. And that should be ample. So there we go, let's fill those up, a little bit more in that one. And then we can move on to the pastry. Put some flour on the board, flour on a rolling pin, and get a short crust pastry this is, homemade of course. Roll this out to about a quarter of an inch, maybe a bit less. And then roll it up onto your rolling pin like this. Get your pie dish. Pop it on. Lovely. And then we can do the fancy work. Trim around the edge. Then go around the edge with a fork and crimp it all together. And finally, we can make some little holes in the top with a knife just to let the steam out. Then brush over the top with some milk. I mean, you can use an egg wash. Egg wash is a bit more glossy, I think. Then it's off to the oven for about 30 minutes. Gas mark seven. Or keep your eye on it, and it should go nice and brown and crispy. Just like this. There we go. Doesn't that look wonderful? Time for more taste test, I think. Mmm. Tasty. Very, very tasty, very cheap and easy to make. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.